We met on MySpace in 2006. Very fast and furious relationship. We got married in 2007. We've been together ever since. We met when we were really young and like had basically spent most of our adult lives together. I was really wanting to explore what it would look like for me to live on my own. I was surprised by it. I was like, oh, okay, well, what does this mean? I just wanted to see what it would be like for me to have that experience of, of living by myself and knowing myself better independently of this relationship. It took a lot of time, like, getting to the point where I could feel like I could trust her that it wasn't about something underlying that she didn't want to tell me that was wrong with the relationship. Joining us now is Evian Whitney and her husband, Jonathan Mead from LA. Thank you both for being here. What a fascinating journey um, that you have. Evian, so to be clear here, you were not separated. You were married, but this was just about living apart. What were you hoping to get from this experience going in? Well, as I said before, you know, we got together really young. So uh, I was 19 when I met him. He was 21. And we'd been together pretty much ever since we got together. And what I was really interested in was what it would look like for me to have this experience of living by myself, which I never got a chance to have because I met him so young in my life and we fell fast in love. And, you know, I didn't go to college. I didn't have those experiences of getting my own apartment and buying groceries for just myself and designing my own apartment. And so I really wanted to see what it would be like for me to have this experience of total independence by myself while also continuing to be in relationship with this man who I love so much, which almost is like a contradiction. <laughs> and initially when I was talking about doing this with him, I'm like, this doesn't make sense, you know, but um, but we did it and it it was amazing. Jonathan, were you worried at any point? After all, I mean, you get married, the whole notion of living under one roof, that you're building this together. And now Evian wants to explore the definition of family under two different roots. Were you ever worried or intimidated that it could fracture the family? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, I think I'd be really naive to, to not think that. And uh, it was definitely something that kind of caught me off guard a little bit, but I knew our relationship was strong enough. Having those 13 years together to be able to communicate and to understand like this is something that I could do for her, for her personal growth, and that it would be actually something that benefited me as well because, you know, we got together so early and it actually really did when we came back together made our relationship so much stronger. Evian, it's interesting, Jonathan, talked about personal growth because so often in a marriage, which is your family, personal growth can be stifled. You know, different people on different paths and different parts of the journey. Did you feel like you had missed something prior to that you were trying to recapture? I mean, you talked about not going to different milestone points because of the marriage, but were you trying to, what is that Bonnie Wright song, If I Could Turn Back Time? Were you trying to turn back time or did you know this was gonna make the future better? I wasn't really trying to turn back time, no. I just, I for me, I was really curious about who I was when this relationship wasn't at the center of my universe. Like what would, what would, what would it have been like if I was at the center? of my own universe. Because one of the things that I realized in our relationship, like we've been together pretty much since day one, we've had an amazing, incredible, beautiful relationship, but I couldn't really say to you that like I was able to explore my own self fully within the last 13, 14 years that we've been together. And so I was really curious about who is this person outside of this relationship? Who is this person um, outside of being a wife? Who is this person outside of being a caretaker to uh, to this man? And you know, one of the things that I've said before is that like I am kind of a chronic caretaker. Yeah. It's like one of my things to do. If like I'm, I just feel very maternal, and it's very easy for me to just want to take care of other people. And I really wanted to see, okay, what if I turn that attention inward, and I was able to take care of myself. Evian, after that year, what would you say was the headline 
to describe that experience a year after? Oh, man. Um, incredible amounts of growth. <laughs> I learned so much about myself throughout this experience. Uh, and one of the things that really came through a lot for me was just this notion that like when you're married and when you're in this long-term relationship, you sort of have to lose your identity to your partner, that you used to become like one unit um, and your identities and your individuality and your, your desires are stripped away. And so through this experience, I was able to individuate. I was able to see myself as a individual, a human being separate from this relationship and that allowed me to heal myself in deeper ways that allowed me to get very honest about what I really want and need in this relationship. And, um, yeah, when we finally came back together, <laughs> uh, a totally new experience. Oh, wow. Well, thank you so much for sharing your modern, modern family with us. I wonder how many people let us know, go to social media. Could you do that? Could you test the family structure in that way? Thank you both for joining us.